How's going on everyone? Welcome to another video in the series of machine learning and in this video we are going to learn linear regression. This is your first machine learning algorithm which you are going to learn and in this video we are going to have an introduction to linear regression. We are not going to go uh, much deeper inside linear regression. We are going to see uh, which equation is used in linear regression and how does it uh, able to help us to predict the things. Before starting, I want to show you this. I found that only 5% of people are subscribed to this channel. Please make sure to hit that subscribe button if you really want to support me. It really pushes me up to create a quality content for you. So with this said, let's start the video. So before starting anything, I am going to give some time uh, to teach you what are independent and dependent variable because we are going to use it in the upcoming uh, chapter of this video. So let's uh, first take an example of this data set over here. Uh, this data set is based on the student performance. So on the left side you got a table of test grade and time that students studied and on the right side uh, we got the data of the student of his final uh, exam grade. So uh, basically you see that final grade is somehow dependent on the student uh, who is studying the time he studied and the previous year of his grades. So obviously it, this depends on this one and this one. So now if we just clearly try to understand that dependent variable will going to be final grade and independent variable will be going to be these uh, time uh, test grade and time studied because I'm going to uh, predict final grade of the student based on these two. So this is going to be my dependent variable and these both are going to be my independent variable. What will be variable then? Variable is just a column. So in this case, it's test grade, uh, time studied, and then final grade. That's all about independent and dependent variable. Now, one thing uh, in convention, when we start coding, you'll see that we'll use X uh, for this left side of data and Y for this right side of data. So Y will be the output variable or dependent variable, which we are trying to predict and X will be our input features. We also call them features or independent variable. So that's all about independent and dependent. Now I hope you should have no uh, doubts regarding this. So now let's uh, try to understand what regression is. Simply regression is just statistically finding the relationship between the dependent and independent variable. That's all. So we are just trying to build up the relationship between the dependent and independent variable. That's what the regression is. Now, one thing to note that in regression, uh, we work with real valued problems. What do I mean by that? Let me just draw our uh, x-axis and y-axis. Now you see that x-axis can take any values uh, lying on this um, line. And suppose that we have built a relationship which is something like this. Now, if I want to predict at value of this, at value of x at this point, if I want to predict value of y, then it can be here. Meaning, uh, any value of for any value of x, y can be anything else. It can be either 1.0, 2.0, 5.0, or 100, or 200. It's not like a pre decided like if we do in classification like we are predicting either cat or dog or uh, one two three handed and digit recognition so it's not pre decided that this is going to be happen so you know that what is regression in regression we try to predict real values so now then what is linear regression we are just coming to the topic slowly slowly so linear regression is basically building up the relationship between dependent independent variable but by using the linear equation. Now you might think that linear equation or oh, we have I think learned in high schools about that. If you still don't know about it, don't worry, I'm going to explain you. So what is linear equation? In simple, it is just y is equals to mx plus c. Then what is m? m tells you the slope of that line. Since uh, this is a linear equation, what does that mean? Uh, equation of line equation of line will be having some slope with x-axis and what is c then c is just a y-intercept meaning wherever it is intersecting with y we are just going to look uh, more deeply about it so if we take an example of this graph or this data set over here so you'll see that when x is equals to zero y is zero and when x is two uh, y is two when x is three then y is three 
now if i ask you to use this equation to draw a line which goes through all of these points or i should say which goes through most of the points and that should be linear it should not be something like this so can you draw that yeah it's pretty easy maybe you would come across with the solution uh, of something like this let me just elongate it a little bit from both of the sides so you might come a uh, line with which will look something like this and which is built by using this equation now uh if i ask you what will be the value of m and c of this line for calculating the value of m it is really easy just take any two points on this axis for example if we take this point and uh, at the same time this point and let's call this so we have taken this point and this point and we have called this a and this point as b and now our goal is to predict the slope we are going to talk about in a bit how to calculate that but first let's have to uh, let's try to understand what is c over here for this line so if i just elongate it a little bit then you'll see that this line this particular line is meeting y axis at this point which is not nothing but a zero so c will be zero in this case wherever it is meeting on y axis that is the intercept y intercept which is c what is x in this equation x is the input feature if we talk about linear regression uh, in short x is any value from the x axis what is y y is any value from the y axis and when we talk about the linear regression when we talk about the algorithm we use in machine learning we just user just feed in the value of x m and c are decided or find out by the computer itself or machine itself which is a learning parameter and we are going to talk about it much deeply by using the mathematical formulas how it works and how it tries to find out the values of m and c in the upcoming video but for now try to understand m is the slope of line and c is the um, intercept y intercept of that line so now let's try calculating the slope uh, quickly so uh, i found this image from mathwarehouse.com so uh, i found this image for calculating the slope as i said uh, let's say this point is a this point is b coordinates are x2 y, uh, y2 and x1 y2 uh, x1 y1 so if you want to calculate the slope it is as easy as just saying y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 let's see this in action so if we talk about this point as i have said this is point a and this is point b in this case uh, x, uh, this point is 2 comma 2 this point is 1 comma 1 if we place the values over here you'll get m as 1 and you know already c is 0 so if we plug the values of m and c you will find out that y will be 1 times x plus 0 so if i ask you what will be the value of y if x is 2.5 just place this value in this equation over here you'll get the y as 2.50 and even if you try to map it it like this then you will find that value of y is 2.5 and that is exactly how linear regression values are predicted so the biggest goal in linear regression is just predicting or finding not predicting finding out the optimal values of m and c and later on whenever user want to make some prediction they will feed the value of x and based on the x they'll get the value of y now i'll just give a break at this point try to map everything try to understand how y is equals to mx plus c is able to predict the values how it is able to find out real valued outputs so once you know that let's move one step further and try something another example in order to find the values of m and c suppose we have got this data set but this time when value of x is 0 value of y is 1 so now if i ask you to use this equation y is equals to mx plus c to find the optimal values of m and c and draw a line uh, which goes through all of these points can you do that very easy just draw this line in this case you see uh, this is meeting at this point which is 1 so c will be 1 what will be m just take any two random uh, x1 x2 just take out your notebook and pen and try to solve it what will the value of m i'll tell you value of m will be 1 so if we plug the values of m and c you will get something like this y is equals to 1 times x plus c C, or which is 1 so it is calculated m is calculated as 2 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 0 which is 1 of course
So this is how linear uh, regression algorithm uh, uses the values of M and C in order to find out the values of Y, which is the output value. Now let's say that obviously if I just come over here, obviously real world data will not be something like this or it is not just a, uh, uh, if, if it is like this, why can't we do that? So the real world data maybe look something like this or even not like this. It is not even close to real world data because you know, this is the input feature and this is the output variable. This is problem is called simple linear regression where you have only one independent variable and one dependent variable but in real scenarios you will have just hundreds of input variables meaning you will have hundreds of such x axis which are going to find out the value of y it would be looking something like this if i have to draw it on the screen so data will be just in so many dimensions so it will be very very hard for me to just teach you so that's why i'm uh, first teaching simple linear regression then we move uh, further into this a uh, multivariate linear regression multivariable linear regression but for now uh, let's say we have this real world data and if i ask you to draw a best fit line which goes through most of the points by using the linear equation so some of you might say okay this might be the line or some people like me would say um not this so some people like me would say okay this might be the line uh so Obviously, there could be just millions of lines going through the data set, but we humans can visually tell that by plotting, we can that tell that, okay, green line would be the best one, but this uh, pink line is bad fit. So we can visually tell by plotting, but as I said, there could be just hundreds of dimensions. Can you visually tell at that scenario if we have hundreds of dimension? No, obviously not. Never. You can never tell that. Uh, even though you can tell it will not be 100% perfect. So how will the computer know or how will we know that okay this line is good fit or this line is bad fit when there are just so many dimensions. Even in this case how will our computer know that this line is best fit line or this line is bad fit line. With best fit I mean that this goes through most of the data uh, meaning this makes most of the right predictions and this makes most of the bad predictions. So how will our computer know that? Our computer will know that by using the loss function or cost function, which is something I'm going to talk about in the upcoming video by using perfect mathematical formula and the biggest thing we are going to code that. So if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, make sure to subscribe because a lot of cool stuff is coming for you. So now uh, I, this example was just telling you how will our computer know which uh, data is good, which data is bad to fit, plus giving you a better understanding how will the data look like, not like this at least. So now we'll uh, move step further and go to the conventional representation of this equation y is equal to mx plus c. Why just to stick with convention first of all? Uh, if you take my recommendation, I would say that just stick to conventional because uh, in this video I would be choosing if m and c and you were choosing theta 1, theta 0, someone else talking some other variables. So if this uh, trend continues everyone using their own variables then it will be very hard for beginners to just keep track of what is going on if variables uh, name are keep on changing so it is good to stick to convention so that uh, next time when you just go to some other channel for studying uh, you see that they also stick to convention so it will be really easy for you to understand so in this case m is represented as theta 1 by convention and c is represented as theta 0 so you can just uh, think of that y will be now theta 1 times x plus theta 0 and in some cases also h will be known uh, sorry y will be known as h for example in Andrew Ng course it is very good course just have a look at it it's on Coursera I think on YouTube also there are all the videos so uh, y is also known as h which is hypothesis function it takes some values of x and this function this whole equation is known as h of x which is hypothesis function and this is just uh, some future part actually so actually this is it for this video i hope this took so much long actually uh, 10 to 12 minutes i guess so in the upcoming video we are just going to have much un uh, good understanding of how 
the line is fit on the data and how the computer is able to find out the values of this theta 1 and theta 0 by using the algorithm called gradient descent so we are going to talk about that so this is it for this video i hope you have got something new today and if you have any confusions regarding this linear regression until now make sure to ask them in down comment section so that's it bye huge thanks to geeks for geeks for sponsoring this video you can use my code coding hurt for getting flat 10% discount on every course of geeks for geeks links will be in down description